is Nat and today I'm here with a, another reading vlog. Today I am reading the eighth book of Pendragon, uh, The Pilgrims of Rain, and it is very good so far. <laughs> so far I'm on page 159, um, and this is probably, whoa, <laughs> I'm bad at holding this camera, um, this is probably like the most confused, like as like an audience or whatever that we've been. We don't really know exactly what's happening on Ibar, and I guess Bobby doesn't either. Um, but yeah, we don't really know what's happening. It's like, just the way he's describing it, it's like lots of contradictions. So I'm very excited to see kind of where this goes and like what's gonna happen with the tribunal. So far what like just happened is the jackals just protected the tribunal uh, that like just happened. And so I'm very curious to see like what's going on with that because he was saying like the jackals like hated the tribunal yet they're willing to like totally fight for them. And what are the flighters? And I'm just like, why, if the tribunal was so evil, why was Ramundi on them? It's just a lot of questions that we don't have the answers to yet. So I'm really interested to see kind of what Ibarra is about. Um, but on a different note, Mark. Like, I am just blown away by what is happening with Mark. And I'm like, I need to know what happened, how, and why he messed with um, First Earth. Why he even went to First Earth. Like, I know his parents died, but like... I don't know, I feel like like Mark has his stuff together. I feel like he would know not to do this. So, yeah, and I mean, it doesn't seem like anything bad has happened because of Mark's decisions yet, but I'm betting something bad is gonna happen. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's pretty intense. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very excited to see where this is going. Um, I'm kind of, I mean, I'm like a fifth of the way through, but I feel like we have just had more and more questions and not really any answers. So I'm very excited to get some answers and see what's up. After this book, I only have two left, which is crazy. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get back to reading. Hi again, everyone. So last night, I went ahead and finished The Pilgrim's Reign by D.J. McHale. This is the eighth, I don't know why I'm telling this. I told you this in the beginning. Um, but yeah, I finished the book. That was kind of a weird moment. <laughs> but I finished the book and it was so good, so intense. I am so excited to see where this series is gonna go. It kind of took like a major plot twist and now I'm like, what is gonna happen? So Pendragon is stuck on Ibarra with St. Dane, but in the end there was like that little section where it seemed like this was kind of what St. Dane wanted. Maybe he like, my thinking is that like he set it up so that the last place he went before Hala fell would be Ibarra because he like somehow knew that he would get trapped there. So like all of the other territories in his chronological order have already happened. I don't know if that makes sense, but like, so he's like, because he seemed fine that he was stuck there, like, he didn't seem upset, and yeah, I don't know, because Neva came, I don't know if Neva, like, came, or if she's already there, oh no, she was already there, she was Telio, okay, yeah, I don't know, yeah, Neva's Telio, oh my gosh, that is gonna mess with things, because I noticed, like, looking at all of the books, like, you can definitely see as Pendragon gets older, and the next book, he, like, looks kind of old, like, not, like, teenager anymore, he, like, looks old. So I think he's gonna be on Ibarra for, like, a long time, and I'm kind of thinking maybe he's gonna, like, fall in love with Telio, and then, like, get married or something, and then he's gonna find out it's Neva, and it's just, I'm just, like, what is gonna happen? Things are gonna get so intense. And now, St. Dane is on Second Earth, like, he's actually doing his Second Earth stuff, and Bobby isn't even there. So, I read the description for the next book. That's how. I know. But yeah, I'm about to start the next book, and this book was seriously so good. I'm glad- well, I don't even know what happened with Mark. He destroyed Forge, which I'm glad, but also it didn't, like, seem like anything happened. Oh, but I guess that's because they have the plans, so they're gonna have to, like, somehow get the plans from KEM and destroy those. So, yeah, yeah, who knows where this is all gonna go, but I'm very excited to read the next book. I'm gonna start it right now, and I am so excited. So I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.